Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, the book indeed opens, first page, chapter 36. And in this chapter, uh, here's what we see. <clears throat> we deduce, as we read along, that a woman's, uh, Gabriella, that her daughter has been kidnapped, and um, Gabriella is being extorted to produce this mysterious document called the October List. And in this last chapter, we, um, we learn that the police and a friend of Gabriella's, kind of a good-looking, macho sort of guy, are in two different ways trying to rescue the daughter and save, save her and save Gabriella as well, although Gabriella is safe for the time being. Well, we read to the end of the last chapter in the book, this is the opening chapter, the door opens, Gabriella gets up to go hug her daughter because we think she's been saved. The kidnapper walks into the room with a gun. End of chapter. Now we go backward in time, eventually over the course of a day and a half, well, two days or so, and as I move along, every bit of the facts that you assumed and your expectations are changed again and again and again. An incident that we assume goes one way is in fact rearranged to be something entirely different. And uh, I'll tell you, I had a full head of hair like DG's before I started this. <laughs> it, it is, it's a shorter book than most of mine. Uh, usually I write about 120,000 words. This is 100, uh, I'm sorry, this is about 65,000 words, but more work per page than any other book I've done. Talk about the, cha the extra challenges and maybe some that you didn't anticipate mm -hmm. in writing in this, uh, in, in this not new style, but a, new, a style that's new for you and one which um, is new for your, your readers. Sure, there were a lot of challenges. Uh, I guess the primary challenge was to keep the suspense going. But, but you have to play fair. You see, you, you, cannot, you cannot cheat. And um, it was, uh, because you guys are really smart, you, you can figure out clues, but you don't, don't, and nor should you, have patience for authors who pull things out of left field. You, you know, we have to play fair. We have to set up all the clues. And this book took a lot of clue setting up. Character becomes independent, takes on a life of his own or her own. They're the next victim in my book. They die. You know, it's, I'm in charge. It's my book. They want to go write a book of their own. Go to it. My books take place over a very short time period. Uh, they have um, four plots going on at once, three or four plots going on at once. And so what I found was that I need that schematic. So I spend eight months outlining the book. Um, and, and at the end of the day, that outline is uh, probably... Uh, the October list was a little shorter, but it still had a long outline. It was about 100 pages. A typical Lincoln Rhyme novel is 150 to uh, 175 pages, and that has every aspect of the book in it. And when that's all done, then I can um, sit down and write the book in any order that I want. This particular book, which is different, mm -hmm. uh, was the outlining the same, and did you have to uh, change and fiddle with the outline as you developed it? Yeah, I had to make sure the story worked in terms of time and in terms of what we know. So the outline I did was a, a story that I knew could be reversed, but I wrote it first in true chronological order. Uh, you value your twist yeah. and your ability to twist, and one of the... Uh, things that caught my eye was your um, one-eighth inch rule. Do you remember your one-eighth inch? Indeed, indeed. I'll tell you what this is. Um, when you read along in one of my books, you, um, I hope, have a very enjoyable experience. Lots of surprises, twists and turns, twists and turns. You come to the end. The, the bad guy's dead. The crime has been solved. There's still an eighth of an inch of pages left. That is maybe 40 or 50 pages. Well, should I keep reading? Well, I hope so. <laughs> you paid your money. You may as well keep going. And that's when the book really ends. And sometimes there's a sixteenth of an inch after that, and there's another twist or another surprise. And, uh, you know, you just need to, need to stick with it. And that's really where the, the, the huge payoff is. I do believe that a, a book 
a novel I'm speaking of now, is the highest form of emotional engagement for a story than anything else. I have just started Breaking Bad. I'm on episode three of the first season. I know I've got a long way to go. But Homeland, I love. Um, films, I love. And yet, at the end of the day, what sticks with us most? A book. Oh, thank you so much. This is delightful.